The scripture verse, speaking Dharma for his mother, has a deep meaning even though the Dharma conference was initiated by Lord Chakra. The first one is to prevent some people in the world from misunderstanding about Buddhism. Studying Buddhism, especially if you are determined to shave your head and become a monk, it seems that you will never take care of your parents from then on. People in the world think it is unfilial. Especially what the Chinese say, there are three ways to be unfilial, and having no offspring is the greatest. Parents rely on you as the heir. Once you become a monk, the lineage will be cut off. How can there be no fault for your ancestral parents? People in the world don't know that being a monk is great filial piety. This is the first meaning. The second meaning is also to set an example for the four groups of disciples who study Buddhism. Monastics, monks, nuns, and laypeople, men and women, and inspire their filial piety so that they can truly understand the first sentence in the three blessings. Filial piety to parents. Even if Buddhists become monks, they cannot ignore their parents. There is no such reason. But the form of filial piety is different. Seriously practice, follow the teachings of the Buddha, and use this merit to return to the parents. Parents can receive the protection of the Buddhas and the blessings of good gods. This is true filial piety. People in the world are filial to their parents and ask a few servants to take care of their lives. Buddhist disciples let Deva and Naga and good gods take care of their parents. Which is much more considerate than the person you hired. But if you don't cultivate yourself, the heavenly dragon and good God will not bless you and look down on you. If you truly cultivate, have morality and virtue, and are moved by the heavenly dragons, the good gods will naturally take care of you, without you having to ask them. You don't have to ask them or inform them, it will take care of you naturally. Why? Respect you. Respect your parents. So there is this meaning.